So at a cuddle party, you might have the situation where someone asks you for something and it might even sound like they're trying to do you a favor. How do you kind of pull apart that those concepts? Yeah, that I love that. It's one of my favorite things that, that I learned actually doing cuddle parties and doing the wheel of consent work, which is Betty Martin's work, um, is this idea of like, who is it for? And um, one of the most useful things is this idea about a distinction between um, an offer and a request and an invitation. But an offer and a request, these are two different kinds of asking that quite commonly, we don't, we don't take the time to make a distinction. So um, yeah, short story about that. I was at a cuddle party and uh, you know, I was engaging in the practicum and I was sitting next to a participant who said to me, would you like a back rub? And in my head, that came across as an offer, right? They were offering me a back rub, which is kind of like, hey, I'm available to do this for you if it's something you would like. And I was like, you know, they, they made the offer and I sat with it and I was like, you know what? No, thanks. It, it, a back rub is not exactly what, you know, is going to hit my sweet spot in this moment. It's not something I'm wanting. And as soon as I said that, they looked really disappointed. They looked kind of like, oh, okay. And I had this feeling like, ooh, I just kind of rejected this person. And that, that wasn't what I was feeling. And then I realized, oh, it wasn't really an offer. It was a request. They were kind of asking, sort of like, I would love to give you a back rub. Are you okay with that? And that was an entirely different question to me. When, as soon as I made that switch in my head, I was like, oh, would you like to give me a back rub? Because I'm totally willing. This is the like the difference between willing and wanting. I was like, I, that would be great. If you would enjoy that, I'm totally willing to have you, you know, rub my back. Um, and they lit up. They were like, oh, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> and so we were able to engage, right, in a really wonderful consensual way because now the agreement was clear. But so many times in my life, somebody has said, oh, you know, would you like this? And I went along with it because I, some part of me was like, oh, I want to give them this, but they think they're giving me something and that's just kind of wonky. So it's really, yeah, and it just kind of, so it's a wonderful to have that clarity to be able to kind of sort out with people like, is this something that you're, you're thinking that I want, or is it something that you're asking for permission to do with me? And it changes, it just, it can change the answer. So if we're going to cuddle party, can you think of any phrases to help make that more clear? Sure, sure. So sometime with the asking instead of the would you like you know which is kind of like an offer um but the like say so may i or i would like is that okay with you or may i hold your hand may i is that's a request that's sort of this is something i would like are you willing um you could say that may i do this are you willing um or or I would like to do so, is there something you want? I would like to do something, you know, that feels good to you. Is there something you would want? That's an offer. That makes sense. I feel like the basics take so much practice. This is a whole other level of consciousness and awareness. And it's fun to really think about it because if you have two people that both think they're giving each other a gift and then may even, you know, isn't that kind of where covert contracts come in and some other phrase where it, you know, it, it can, it can create a dynamic that it's good to be on the same page. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many times have we had the interaction where somebody says, you know, um, so where do you, we're, we're having dinner together tonight. Uh, what would you like to eat? Oh, well, I don't know. What would you like to eat? I don't know. What would you like to eat? And then both parties are unwilling, like they're both wanting the other person to, to put forward a preference, but neither one is. And what ends up happening is both of us end up settling and we end up going out to dinner somewhere mediocre for both of us and nobody's actually getting what they want, but they, but they think it's what the other person wants. It, it's so, it's kind of, well, I'd have to cry if I didn't, you know what I mean? Like you, you kind of have to laugh, but 
it's sad. And this is the beauty of, you know, I talked about cuddle party. Why would you go? It, it's, it's about improving our relationship skills so that the rest of our connections in our life become more satisfying. There's less disappointment, there's less frustration, and it's more satisfying. You know, that poor person at the cuddle party who offered me a back rub but was really requesting it, if I had just said no and we'd stayed with that disappointment, that's, you know, I'm glad we turned it around, put it that way. Too. And yeah. the going out to dinner thing reminds me, in grad school, we learned about the Abilene paradox where the, the older guy in the family you know, he notices there's not much going on in the house. Maybe they want to get out and do something. So he's like, hey, you want to go to Abilene to this place to eat? And the first person he asks is like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. And one by one, they ask the rest of the family and they all kind of agree thinking, oh, I guess the other people want to go. So I'll just go along with them. So they get back and kind of recap and are like, eh, it wasn't actually that great. And then it finally comes out. The first guy who asked, He's like, well, I didn't actually want to go. I just thought you guys were maybe wanting to do something. So I suggested it. And it turns out nobody wanted to go. And they all agreed thinking the rest of them wanted it. So I feel like this is not a rare occurrence in life. And oh, any yeah. chance we have to work on these skills, gain awareness, communicate more effectively, it doesn't just help our own lives. It could help humanity. Oh, it, it, it's amazing how much it helps. And a lot of this comes back to the fear uh, and the obstacles around actually knowing what we want, actually saying what we want. Because in that situation, everyone is offering, but nobody is saying, hey, I would like to go here. Who's on board with that, right? And this is the idea of an invitation. An invitation is, I would like to do this if you would like to do it too. But if nobody's putting out any wants, then nobody has anything to respond to, right? I think there's that's why there's that meme from the movie about what do you want it's not that simple. <laughs> it's true, it is true compassion it is not that simple I mean we're sound like yeah it should be simple but. But well, it's not but what it takes is permission and encouragement, because if we have people that are like you know I really want to know what you want it doesn't mean i'm going to go along with it, it doesn't mean i'm going to do it if I don't want to but. Um, you know let's make space for that. Another sort of quick anecdote, my, my sons and I, around the holidays, we would always have movie nights and want to watch movie nights. And they got so much better when we started taking turns, picking a movie, so that each person would, would get a turn to be like, this is the movie I really want to watch, and I want to share it with the two of you. Are you willing? And the other two would get to decide, like, we could veto something. If it was a movie that I'm like, oh, I really don't want to sit through that. Like, we could veto it. But everybody got a turn to have the movie they wanted that the other two were willing. And then it was so great. We watched three films and it was, you know, we all like really enjoyed them. And one person got to be the like, this is the one I really want. It was so great. And I'm guessing those decisions were made much more rapidly than what do you want? What do you want? Right. Instead of trying to find films that we were all okay with, you know, that it, then we ended up having kind of a mediocre movie night. And I've been really surprised. There have been some movies that I would not have picked that I was willing to watch that when I watched them, I was like, oh, my God, that was really great. <laughs> and it's just and I know that I'm watching something that my sons really want to share with me. And that's rewarding in and of itself. That sounds so exciting. And I am just thrilled for any chance that cuddle parties pass through town slash the virtual world. So. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing all this and hopefully we will all look forward to our opportunities to engage with cuddle party online and in person yes <laughs> thank you thank you